Hey, Minecraft Mentor here, and today we're going over Sophisticated Backpacks. This is an amazing mod, and if you're not using it in your pack, you will regret not using it later on because it's super useful, has an absolute ton of features, and anyways, we're doing an overview kind of slash tutorial here. So we start out with the basic backpack. Uh, it gives you one upgrade slot. Uh, you can sort your inventory real quick here, and you can search for your items, or not search for your items, but you can organize them by name, uh, count, or by tags. Uh, basic little chest here three slots whatever and then we can upgrade it to iron which is just the backpack in the center and you surround it with iron gives you a few more slots here obviously or doubles actually doubles it and gives you two more upgrade slots next on to gold uh, gives you a couple more here and another upgrade same thing with diamond uh, doesn't look like it gives you any more than gold but it does give you more two more extra upgrade slots and then finally the top tier netherrack backpack gives you all of these slots and then we've got a little scroll down did we have that in diamond yeah i guess we did i just didn't notice all right anyways uh now we're just going to go over a few of my favorite upgrades for the backpack but uh you can definitely come in here and check out a lot of the others there's way more than i'm even showing we've got you know everlasting the backpack won't even uh won't ever fall into the void it won't despawn it's indestructible uh, you've got stone cutter upgrades, crafting table upgrades, uh, energy upgrades, anvil. So you can make an anvil inside the backpack. We can even add RF uh, energy storage. Maybe we'll grab that one. I haven't tried it yet, but kind of looks cool. Uh, and it's 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 turning it's turning that time. Normally I turn game rolls off, but anyways, let's check out this one. Here's uh, the tool swapper upgrade. I think this one's pretty obvious what it does, but uh, automatically swaps items players in. Fighters, uh, uh, players hand for the effective tool so if we have a, a pickaxe in the uh, backpack and a shovel or we have a pickaxe in our hand as soon as we go to break the sand it's going to swap it out for the shovel or vice versa or whatever whatever you're trying to mine it's going to swap it out which is really really useful i love this one one of my favorites uh, next we have uh, the magnet upgrade and also i should mention that these can be turned off right here so you can if you don't want it on it gets annoying or whatever you can shut them off if you don't want the magnet one on. I, t I should tend to shut that one off a lot. But uh, once you do put the magnet upgrade in, you see we've got magnet settings over here. Now we can decide whether we want to block an item or match specific things, ignore durabilities or ignore MBT. I don't really mess with these because we can just turn that on and off. But if I guess if you don't want it to pick up items and you only want it to pick up EXP, which requires the tank upgrade, but... Uh, you can do that with the settings over here. We can kind of display that. Uh, let's block redstone. So if we don't want it to pick up redstone, we just throw this out here. Uh, there we go. It's not gonna it's not gonna pick it up. But if we do throw out the cobblestone, uh, you can see it pulled it right on in there. Let's get rid of that that little filter. But you can also do uh, match backpack contents. So whatever you have in here, it'll only pick up those items, which is another really cool feature. And then obviously the allow list. So whatever you put in here, it'll only allow those items into the backpack. So super useful upgrade. Uh, another one of the really great upgrade is the feeding upgrade. So this one uh, will feed you uh, whatever food you have in here. So be careful. If you have some golden apples in here, it's going to consume them and it's going to feed them to you automatically. That's where our feeding settings come in. We can uh, block items if you want to put golden apples, god apples, you know, stuff that's very valuable that you want to eat at a specific time i would throw those in there and also you could do an allow list like if you wanted cod salmon uh, there's a lot of different modded foods that you could throw in your backpack and it does eat from the first slot so if you have salmon here it's going to eat the salmon all up first before it moves on to the next slot and so on until it works its way through the backpack i find this one really useful because it eats without any animation outside the backpack and it feeds you uh, whenever your hunger gets low so really really useful it kind of takes the hunger completely out of the game again can shut it off here and there next we have the inception upgrade this one is really cool because normally if we don't have the inception upgrade in we cannot stick another backpack in here so imagine the amount of inventory it's like shulkers inside shulkers inside shulkers right so we throw the inception upgrade in here it's going to let us put our backpacks in here and uh, when I do this, I like to go take my backpack to an anvil and I'll uh, rename them so I can kind of hover over them and 
You can also shift over top of them and see what's inside each backpack while it's inside here. So that could be really cool. Uh, really cool, uh, massive storage in a very small area, especially if you're a traveler or explorer. Uh, this inventory can fill up pretty quick in Steampunk Mod Pack, but uh, another great upgrade for me. Voiding. Voiding. Oop. There's one or more. Oh, one or more backs. Gave me some sort of wording. So the void one here, void settings, basically void anything. Uh, only works with other upgraded automation. Got it. And then we have the allow and block list. So we don't want it. Let's say we want it to uh, not void out redstone right so we threw down the redstone i haven't really played with this one too much honestly <laughs> but uh you, you tinker with it and void any allow single slot to be filled with item voids okay anyways i actually honestly haven't used this one i saw it in there and uh tossed it in here as one of my favorites because it just seemed cool i'll figure it out later and maybe Maybe if you comment down below how it works a little better than I did. I know it's a tutorial, but it's really an overview. Uh, I'm I'm pretty sure it's just an allow block. So throw the item in here, it's going to block it or void it, and then allow it to be voided or vice versa, whatever. Next, we have the battery upgrade, which I just snatched up, and we haven't, we don't know anything about this one. Uh, it looks like it takes away your slots, so it takes away two two rows over here. And it holds 100,000 forge energy. This might be pretty cool to have, especially if you have items. I don't know how the transfer in and out works. So let's check out the battery. Okay, output input. So you could probably uh, input power some way. Maybe you could even run a, a pipe into this backpack and it'll fill it in. I'll have to test that out in Steampunk uh, if you are watching that. And then we have the output, which I'm assuming we can put an item in here and it's going to fill that energy up, especially if you have something like immersive engineering or, or an accumulator backpack type thing, it'll fill it up for you. So that's really super cool. Uh, I definitely want to look into this void upgrade, but like I said, there's a ton more upgrades in here. We also have a filter upgrade. So if you are piping items in and out, uh, beyond just magneting them in, it's got a filter upgrade. So you can decide which items are piped in and out of the backpack because you can use, hoppers on these things i don't really need to show you, you know how a hopper works but uh yeah <laughs> anyways you, i think that's pretty much it you you can even play some music if you like let's let's do that as our last one here you throw in the jukebox you can play it and stop the song whenever you like which is a really cool feature and that's pretty much it for this one uh you know i would highly suggest just play around with the with the upgrades see what you like see what's useful for you because i mean everybody's Everybody's a little bit different, but these these are so far are my favorite. Well, let's say minus that one because I don't really, I haven't played around with it yet, but I will eventually. And uh, that's pretty much it for this one. If you found it helpful, like, comment, subscribe.